welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection. The gift of man. Please, everybody receive this one. The gift of man. So that you don't struggle for nothing. There has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God. Anywhere at all where there is a need, I tell you there is a helper. I pray from today, you will not struggle to find helpers. You will not struggle to find helpers. Help us in ministry. Help us in business. Help us in your family. You will never be alone to struggle alone again. In the name of Jesus. May someone be interested in your matter. May someone be interested in your rising. May someone be interested in your shining. May someone be interested in your restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously. Whether it's ministerial value, professional value, business value, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. By this grace that comes upon you now, everybody who needs what you carry, I gravitate them to your destiny. I pray for anyone here. You have struggled with prayer. It's something you can't tell anyone. But every time you go to pray, you are sleeping, you are snoring. You watch people pray, generating power. But the truth is that that grace is not yet on your life. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, genuine, authentic grace for prayer. Let it rest on you now. Let it rest on you now. Pastor, let it rest on you now. Businessman, let it rest on you now. The grace to wake up and pray. Pray yourself to greatness. I release that grace upon you now. Number two, laziness over the study of scripture. There is no book you have brought that you've been able to read. You've not been able to read one book of the Bible. You are a sincere Christian. It's been a struggle. It's not by trying. Once that grace is not there, you will struggle. I pray for you. Passion for the word. May it consume you. May it consume you. May it consume you. May it consume you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that fights you, fights your rising, fights your becoming, fights your manifesting. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I speak to every spirit that is not of the Christ, that it be banished from your life, banished from your experience, banished from your space. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every closed door over your destiny, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that door is open now. That door is open now. Open for you and your children. Open for you and your wife. Open for you and your husband. Open for you and everyone connected to you. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Genesis 21 verse 6. This is someone's prophetic word. I'm praying now. 21 verse 6. Genesis. Genesis 21 verse 6 and Sarah said God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me I decree and declare let this be a season of laughter for you let this be a season of laughter for you in the name of Jesus laughter in the morning laughter in the afternoon laughter in the evening laughter in the night in the name of Jesus you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up in the name of Jesus and that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles and when they opened it they found where Mordecai saved him 
and was not rewarded anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season i pray may my god wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you wake them and cause them to remember you in the name of jesus when nehemiah began to build the temple the wall of jerusalem the bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project one sambalat two tobias i pray for you anyone spying on your progress and working with men and spirits to see that you don't advance to see that the promotion does not come to see that the rest does not come i decree and declare they are banished from your life forever banished from your life forever you see let me tell you there are certain men in the bible who are not just men when you hear their names they speak of spirits absalom sambalat tobias are we together you hear of all these names these are not names haman you see that now these are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them absalom for instance this guy began to gain popularity over a a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor the the, the advisor of david absalom i'm praying for you any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing may they never get to the ears of your helpers if you are a king here and there is any haman roaming around your palace even if he's helping you for now may god expose them may god expose them for the safety of your kingdom may god expose them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah even though it later worked out for a redemption but when that that should be pontius pilate or herod one of them wanting to crucify jesus the wife got up and said i had a dream this man is innocent don't touch him even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation but let me pray for you any wrong step you are about to make whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny destroying mistakes i pray may god bring them speedily may they come before the damage happens i say it again may they arrive before any damage happens in the name of jesus help will never come too late for you help will never come too late for you now i pray for you the kind of honor you have not seen from january till now may if you have the faith to believe it I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you. In this month of July beginning, may God surprise you. Kings will honor you. Nobles will honor you. Captains of industry will honor you. The great will call you great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again this night as you go to sleep dreams that you've not had before visions of things you've not seen before in the name of jesus the blueprint the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life may it be downloaded to your spirit man downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of jesus do you believe what you're receiving let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection are we together our world is full of evil it's everywhere but the bible says pray for the peace of jerusalem 
let me pray for everyone here any car you will enter where you will never return home again any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life any journey you will take that will not allow you to return home i call upon the god of my covenant let it be stopped forever i say it again any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life may god give you discernment we release angels to be on assignment in the name of jesus christ you are preserved from the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday i declare none shall come to your dwelling my final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life that means your prayer life that means your word study life that means your passion for the things of god that means your character i pray for you by all means be as spiritual as you should be that means be as prayerful as you should be as word compliant as you should be as transformed as you should be men and women of character by the spirit doing exploits for the kingdom everything that represents slumber spiritual laziness laxity death of your prayer life your communion with god i declare be delivered from it now wave your hands and give jesus praise we bless you O oh god we give you praise we honor you thank you for your good hand in the name of jesus christ hope has been so deferred it's as if you cannot see God's faithfulness again. The Lord is asking me to speak to you, even now. He said, if you had come, your brother would not have died. He says, but even now, even now, even now, even now, I don't know who God is speaking to. You've been disappointed in circles, in series, but even now, I am still faithful. Take it as a prophetic word. God is telling someone even now concerning your business even now concerning your marriage even now concerning your job even now concerning ministry integrity still pays godliness still pays righteousness still pays do not think you gave yourself cheaply to life for standing on God's side even now I pray for every weary heart because you see there are people who are not sick physically but their spirits are broken and the bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones trouble can start from your spirit your mind and affect you physically you go to the hospital and no machine can diagnose you but you are dying i pray for such people be healed right now be healed from pain be healed from hurt be healed from disappointments I minister that healing to you by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen whilst you are seated stretch your hands towards this request stretch your hands and I want you to begin to pray in one minute father this is a manifestation a token representing my desire if you are here to drop your request please make it fast i'm about to pray I'm praying for someone there are not many times this song has come to my spirit but now the lord is putting it in my spirit and i want you to listen to it it's not a special number hear me we serve a prayer answering God not just a prayer hearing God I decree and declare bowing my knees over these requests every request here represented and the many that have been sent online the many that are on someone's table probably on the ground in the name of Jesus Christ let there be speedy answers shout like you're a believer speedy answers in the name of jesus christ 
speedy answers in the name of Jesus therefore I declare unto you that the Egyptians you see today I stand upon this request prophetically the Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever the same way I have stood upon your request no situation will rise above you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ rise to receive the prophetic may God do something in your life between now and the end of July that will change your finances honestly if you have the faith to believe this may God do something in your life may God raise a man may God bring an idea may God make your proposal pass through by any godly means arise to a new financial status rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing I say it again rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing you will lend to nations in the name of Jesus Christ may my God give you treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places I decree and declare favor whether you go out whether you come in whether you are in Nigeria whether you are outside Nigeria may that favor compel men to help you speedily compel men to help you speedily let me pray for your finances let me pray for you when a season where Satan seems to be cutting the life of people short when people are just about to emerge to a new layer in ministry and destiny they just die like that I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus you shall not die receive it or you shall not die not by sickness not by accident not by witchcraft not by oppression anybody cooking up enchantment against you let it backfire back to them in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again anyone fraternizing with hell that you must die this year their evil returns back to them hallelujah there are people here look at me now I'm not saying going abroad really means anything but there are people there is nothing in your life that has ever gone global not your products not you from your lineage where you come from nobody's head has ever been lifted to a global scale at best you are just recycled here let me push you by prophecy in the name that is above all names whatever has kept you down for the name of Jesus and for being an effective witness rise to a global scale rise to a global scale in ministry rise to a global scale in business rise to a global scale may your products be global may your services be global in the name of Jesus the giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain once you are at the valley remain there but once you want to climb up to the mountain they say when your father did not climb there your mother did not climb there I pray for someone again in the name of Jesus for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker I, I release that grace upon you listen God who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where I am today I pray for you may God announce your names to kings announce your name to governments announce your name to captains of industry in the name of Jesus Christ everything that fights your influence fights your relevance by this grace it dies here tonight hear me every man of God connected to this grace 
every true son and daughter in ministry i pray for you for the sake of his majesty rise to a global scale may the nations demand your grace may they honor jesus in your life i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them they will not be small i say it again be multiplied may you experience the glory of god now hear me hear me we're wrapping up my apologies for stretching you but you'll be surprised what will happen to you listen can i tell you the truth not everybody has been mandated to help you stop looking for everybody to help you this is not how it works and don't choose the person to help you by yourself you will make a mistake you will choose in the flesh but you need one person i can point strategic people who appeared in my life and brought years and added them to my life i've seen my own may you see your own in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ koinonia go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of jesus christ by your reception of these manifold graces i'm praying for you results you have not seen from january till july begin to see them from this night results you have not seen from january till now i say to you again begin to see them from this night fearful results in ministry fearful results in business fearful results in family every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things driving good people making you see good as evil and evil as good i decree and declare let that cloud be lifted from off your head every demonic force manipulating your reasoning always making you to get into trouble making bad decisions i cry unto god again in the name of jesus may your mind be under the influence of the spirit of god superior destiny advancing decisions ministry advancing decisions finance multiplying decisions grace multiplying decisions my final prayer for you tonight it is not a sin to be celebrated it is only when your heart is derailed through it some of you nobody has ever clapped to say kai i see the hand of god in your life let me pray for you may my god do something between now and the end of the month that will bring strange celebrations to your life in the name of jesus christ say after me in the name of jesus i am a steward of the manifold grace of god say it again i am a steward i am a recipient of the manifold grace of god i activate the graces by faith they begin to speak in every area of my life in the name of jesus christ i pray for anyone here you have struggled with prayer is something you can't tell anyone but every time you go to pray you are sleeping you are snoring you watch people pray generating power but the truth is that that grace is not yet on your life i pray for you right now in the name of jesus genuine authentic grace for prayer let it rest on you now let it rest on you now pastor let it rest on you now be 
businessman, let it rest on you now. The grace to wake up and pray. Pray yourself to greatness. I release that grace upon you now. Number two. Laziness over the study of scripture. There is no book you have brought that you've been able to read. You've not been able to read one book of the Bible. You are a sincere Christian. It's been a struggle. It's not by trying. Once that grace is not there, you will struggle. I pray for you. Passion for the word. May it consume you. May it consume you. May it consume you. May it consume you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for signs and wonders. Bringing evidence to your Christian work. You are a man of God here, receive it. It takes power to give witness to the resurrection. I pray for you. Fearful evidences of God's grace. Striking testimonies. Begin to experience it in your life. Begin to experience it in ministry. Begin to experience it in your life. Extraordinary wonders may it be wrought through your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace that draws men. The gift of men. Please everybody receive this one. The gift of men. So that you don't struggle for nothing. There has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again In the name of Jesus, may someone be interested in your matter. May someone be interested in your rising. May someone be interested in your shining. May someone be interested in your restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously whether it's ministerial value professional value business value in the name of jesus i'm praying for you by this grace that comes upon you now everybody who needs what you carry i gravitate them to your destiny i gravitate them to your destiny i gravitate them to your destiny in the name of Jesus the Bible says "Doth not wisdom cry I'm praying for you the error of foolish decisions trouble making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions Decisions, one decision that you will make, you will leap five years forward. Five years forward. Five years forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let me abound in this grace also. I have received the grace for prayer. Let the grace for revelation rest upon me. Let me not just be a prayer person. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom someone is praying the grace for favor i'm tired of struggling in my organization struggling in ministry struggling financially compromising here and there because of money go ahead and pray tired of stuntedness gifted but limited because the grace for influence is not there the hear ye him anointing is not there. Someone pray. I make progress, but my progress is slow. Annoyingly slow. Lord, grant me the grace for speed. 
Someone pray. Pray passionately. Pray passionately. Pray passionately. The manifold grace of God at work in your life. The manifold grace of God. Financial grace. Leadership grace. Grace for prayer. Grace for revelation. Grace for influence. Activating the gifts of man. These are the graces that give you an edge in life and destiny. These are the graces that give you an edge in ministry, an edge in business. And every power that fights you, fights your rising, fights your becoming, fights your manifesting. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I speak to every spirit that is not of the Christ, that it be banished from your life, banished from your experience, banished from your space, in the name of Jesus Christ. That to carry this consciousness forever. That the life giving river flows only through life giving spirits. It can flow into any spirit. But it only flows out from life giving transformed. Let it flow in me first. Let it flow in me first. Purge in me. Let it flow in me first. Building the nature of Christ in me. Let it flow in me first. Building the wisdom of Christ in me. Let it flow in me first. Building authentic apostolic power. Authentic apostolic power. Please pray. Malega parakata parata kebelekata Shadam rakata peleka parakatosiata But in a great house there are vessels of clay, wood, silver and gold Some are unto honor and some are unto dishonor If a man will forge himself Shabrakata bekatesh Lekata prakatos koto bekatesh Shabranda kebelekate pakapra Lakata Prakata Pelakata, Shatan Bakata Praskate, Lakata Proskata Pelakatos, Emrakata Bakata Prakata Pelakata, more power, greater wisdom, Shaba Lakata Parentes Yata. Let me be that vessel. The river flows in men, then it flows through men. The river flows in men to overflow. Then it flows through men to the sick, through men to the downcast, through men to the nations. Let it flow through me. That's your prayer this morning. Let it flow through my ministry. Let it flow through my business. Spirit of the living God, a yielded vessel is calling you. A consecrated vessel is crying to you. A desperate vessel needs you. Come as that river. Come as that river. Come as that river. Malika Barakatabatash. As that river. As that river. Please pray one more minute. And as the river flows. Begins to bring every dead into life. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. And as the river flows, begins to bring every dead into life. It's a life giving river. Oh, let it flow right here, right now. Pray. Da -da -da -da. Let 
Braskadash, Kabranta Barita Toska Ligata. Let the river flow from a yielded businessman. Let the river flow from a yielded apostle. Let the river flow from a yielded prophet. Let the river flow from a yielded captain of industry, a yielded student, a yielded prayer warrior, a yielded missionary, a yielded evangelist. Let the river flow from a yielded financial apostle. Let the river flow from a yielded prophet. We are wrapping up. For many of you here, the Spirit of God is calling you, calling you, calling you beyond ministry, calling you beyond conferences, calling you. Hear the word of the Spirit is calling you deeper, calling you to a place of power, calling you. To a place where Christ is formed in you, where his character is furnished, coming as a life-giving river, burning away everything, seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. It says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us. It's a new season. God sent me here to break a fountain open. This is my assignment here. The life giving river flows through life giving spirits. The life giving river flows through transformed men. The life-giving river flows through empowered men. It starts by flowing into you, transforming you, purifying you, cleansing you, empowering you. Then it flows from out of you to the nations as healing streams to the nations as streams of abundance, as streams of restoration as streams of, of liberty, as streams of life. Rateke belekesh kema shabaras kobandi beleketa rateke de beleke parusiata. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I release grace, the grace to stay until you are formed, transformed, purified, empowered. Let that grace called the staying power, let it rest upon you. The grace to stay until his walking is complete. The grace to not be carried away by the flamboyancy of ministry. The grace to stay until you become a furnished vessel that can do much for the kingdom. May that grace rest upon you. And then I pray for you, for as many who have stayed and stayed, sometimes stayed like fools. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I open a new season. Let this be the season where the evidence of your transformation becomes clear to the nations. The evidence of your fasting and prayer becomes clear to the nations. The evidence of your consecration becomes clear to the nations. The evidence of your secret givings, let it become evident to the nations.
the evidence of your intercession help the lady let it become clear to the nations the evidence of your loving Jesus let it become clear to the nations and every power that fights you fights your rising fights your becoming fights your manifesting in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I speak to every spirit that is not of the Christ that it be banished from your life banished from your experience banished from your space in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every financial calamity here I don't care how long it has been in the name of Jesus because the King eternal the King immortal has arisen may God raise men to bail you out I say to a believer may God raise men to bail you out may God raise men to bail you out in the name of Jesus hear me I've been a victim of sickness before there are diseases that are unto death there are sicknesses that the moment you see it on a person's body you know the spirit of death has come because the end of that sickness is death are we together now I want to cause those diseases whether in your body or that of your loved ones don't allow your loved ones just die for nothing take advantage of this atmosphere hallelujah that when you see people tell you there are certain things in my body you just know that the spirit of death has come in the name of Jesus and by the mercies of the God of David anyone here with any infirmity cancer heart problems bone problems for you or for your loved one in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that death is caused from your life sickness and disease is caused from your body sickness and disease is caused from your body sickness and disease is caused from your body in the name of Jesus for someone I'm hearing open doors open doors may not be for everyone but I'm speaking to someone who is a receiver may my God open doors for you destiny doors destiny doors even ancient doors may they be open here and theta the final prayer for you and you are back to your seat for someone standing here your problem may not be anything material it may just be that an attack came upon your spiritual life and in a strange way your passion for God just went down in a way that is still surprising you right now prayer life down word study life down consecration and your things for God down passion for the house of God down there needs to be a resurrection uh, because if the only thing you receive are just material things and restoration at the expense of your spiritual vibrancy it was a bad bargain bad bargain are we together hmm. these are the days when you need strength these are the days when you cannot lose your spiritual texture and fire it is a risk a risk that can cost you your life because the Bible says be sober be vigilant for your adversary the devil that he goes to and fro that includes Lagos searching and seeking for whom he will be devoured. the question is what is the condition for his finding a victim while men slept that's the condition the enemy could not have come to plant but that men slept so the Bible says awake thou that sleepest and Christ shall give you light can I speak over your life in the name of Jesus I agree with every grace here represented anyone's prayer life you used to have prophetic encounters and dreams because of the extent of your spiritual vibrancy right now that vista has been closed you don't see you don't hear you don't nothing I pray for you in the name of Jesus the same way the hair of Samson came back may your prayer life be restored may your passion for God be restored may your word study life be restored may your passion for the things of God the house of God be restored 
in the name of Jesus. I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God abundantly bless you.